Hi everyone, and thank you for joining Early Access for Curse of the Dead Gods. We hope your hunt for power and treasure goes well. We know the game can be challenging, so here are seven essential tips you should probably know before entering the temple. Exploration is key to a successful run. Sure, it can be frightening, but rewards almost always outweigh the risks. Each alternate path might lead you to a hidden room with new weapons, relics, or gold. The temple is an intricate place full of secrets to discover. The more you explore, the better prepared you'll be to face the gods. You start your journey with a single machete, a pistol, and a torch. The darkness is one of your most treacherous foes. Most areas are filled with traps or groups of enemies hiding in the dark, and it's unwise to face them without a trusty source of light. Thankfully, the game offers you plenty of ways to illuminate your surroundings. You can light fire, torches, cobwebs, or even the enemies themselves. Remember that fighting in the dark will cause you to take more damage from every attack. If you've played a lot of action RPG games, you'll probably be familiar with the stamina mechanic. The little white pips under your character represents your stamina. Managing this gauge is the key to success. Stamina is drained by performing combo finishers, ranged attacks, two-handed attacks, and dodging. Make sure to always conserve some points or you may not be able to avoid damage at a critical moment. A well-timed perfect dodge restores one stamina, and look out for weapons and relics that give you a stamina boost. Traps can be tricky and dangerous for you, but also your enemies. When you must face multiple foes or a tough one, it's always a good idea to scout out your surroundings to see what's available in the environment. You can push foes in spikes with certain weapons or combos or lure them near a flame-spewing statue and set it on fire to decimate them. There are many ways to be creative in combat. The temple is a dark and ancient labyrinth waiting to slowly kill you, or at least corrupt your soul. The purple curse bar at the bottom right of your screen represents your corruption. Taking damage from certain attacks, offering your blood to a shrine, or even entering a new room corrupts your soul. If you reach 100 corruption, you'll be inflicted with a randomly selected curse. Many curses are a double-edged sword, putting a twist on some gameplay mechanics. For example, a curse that causes enemies to explode after dying gives you another obstacle to worry about, but also lets you trigger deadly chain reactions to clear a room fast. If you don't have enough gold to buy a new weapon or relic at a shrine, you can sacrifice your own blood to get what you need. Each item displays its cost in gold, but also in corruption, if you decide to offer your blood to the Twisted Gods. Make sure to be fully prepared if you want to be greedy, and keep an eye on your corruption bar. Sacrificing for a powerful weapon at the start may offer a strong early game advantage, but your choice might come back to bite you before the end. When you die in Curse of the Dead Gods, you'll lose all the weapons, relics, and gold you're carrying. Fortunately, you do keep the crystal skulls you've gained during your exploration. Crystal skulls are a currency that can be exchanged for permanent, powerful blessings that give you a boost at the beginning of each run. They allow you to create your own build with great synergies. Experiment with different combinations. So, those are seven essential tips to help you get started in Curse of the Dead Gods. Be sure to check the Steam page of the game to check all the new updates on the early access, share your feedback, and we'll see you in the next video.